What's up everyone, Arctic here, bringing you guys another Gears of War 3 gameplay and commentary. I am playing some ranked King of the Hill on the map Clock Tower. We're picking up in round two. I am using the uh, Sniper Locust character and um, rocking the Gold Hammer Burst and Onyx Nasher. Typical. Very typical. I'm also playing with Phobos in this particular game. You guys saw when this match started, we were losing. And uh, we're playing... Some really good guys uh, that I've run into a couple times now in ranked. Uh, we're playing LG, some LG guys, Legends, I believe is their team name. Uh, and if you guys have run into them uh, in ranked and you play King of the Hill, you guys know what I'm talking about. They usually roll deep, uh, party of four, party of five. I very seldom seen them play by themselves. I've run into them a couple times by myself or run into them like with Skylas. I run into them with Phobos and then I run into them uh, maybe once or twice where, you know, we had our full party of four and uh, they had, you know, four guys or three guys. So I've gone back and forth with them quite a bit. And this particular game, they tore us up that first round. They beat us 150 to zero. Uh, we were completely shut out. Uh, couldn't do much of anything. So and the funny thing about it is that I was telling Sky, uh, not Sky, was Phobos the whole time. Uh, I was like, these dudes are pretty good before we got into the match. And I was like, you don't remember them? He's like, no, I don't really remember these guys. And I was like, yeah, watch, they're going to be pretty good. So uh, they just, just come out and slap us in the mouth the first round. So uh, second round going into it, I was like, okay, I have to step my game up. These dudes are playing for real. Let's get in gear. And uh, Phil was kind of said the same thing. And what I was looking for was whether or not our teammates were going to quit or stay in the game. And surprisingly... Um, the guys on our team stayed in, so I don't know if they were in a party of three or party of two, but there's two other level 100s and like one level 90 something guy on our team. And they stuck with it the whole time. So you guys are going to enjoy this this particular game because it's a pretty good one. Um, and the only reason I didn't include the first round is because it's just really long and uh, it's a big file. So cut it down so you guys get at least two rounds of the action. You guys are going to see me going back and forth with a lot of the guys on their team in terms of shotgunning. Uh, so I felt like it was a really good match to watch. Uh, but as far as topics go, uh, and let me just give a shout out to those legends dudes because they, they're, they're legit. They're pretty good. Um, real quick. Um, you guys can actually catch them. I don't know if they have any YouTube channels, but I do know I've seen one match against them in 18, uh, legend first, I think 18 won the match, but it was a good match. So. You guys want to just search a team versus legends gears of war three i'm sure they'll pop up uh, I, I couldn't even tell you the link that i saw to see that video uh but i know they're on youtube so shout out to those guys pretty good now <clears throat> again getting to the topics i wanted to let you guys know uh some of you guys probably missed my live stream uh, that i did yesterday uh, i did it at 6 p.m central standard time uh and i ran it for an hour the actual video is called Let's Talk. Um, it's talking about the Phoenix Rising downloadable content that comes out January 17th. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do these uh, live streams uh, a little bit more frequently talking about different things, whether it be in gaming or just general stuff that's on my mind. But I kind of enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of questions that you guys had. There was a lot of discussion about the DLC. A lot, uh, there's continued discussion about the DLC and why people like it, why they don't like it. Um, what they want to see change, what they want to see in future DLC, it spurred a lot of discussion. So I, you know, I really like that, and uh, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the live stream. Now, as far as the uploading, I don't know what YouTube did with that. Now, I streamed this on YouTube, um, and you know, they're trying to work out the kinks with the live streaming. But when it uploaded and encoded uh, from the live stream and processed, like, you know. Uh, was it 50 something minutes or maybe more than that or just a gray screen so it's more like a podcast than an actual um, VOD live stream so I, I apologize about that but I don't know how it happened the live stream was perfectly fine uh, I think there was some audio delay but the video from what I could tell in the comments was you know crystal clear so you know I don't know what happened uh, and why it encoded like that so I apologize for that but uh, if, I, if I do it in the future which I would like to hopefully uh, I don't have that issue but uh, in terms of, you know, kind of like a recap of what I talked about, I basically broke down the Phoenix DLC into uh, three categories, the good, the bad and the ugly. And the things that I consider good. And again, this is just quick. If you guys want to listen to it, you guys can. 
Oh, yes, I watch this. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I was feeling it right there. But uh, <laughs> um, in terms of what I talked about, uh, for the good, I had, let me see, um, the five maps. Really, I only consider them to be four because Escalation, I don't consider a multiplayer map. I think it's a Horde map. It should only be for Horde. No one should have to suffer through that in multiplayer. Uh, and I just go on a long tangent about Escalation. That's probably the biggest disappointment that I have with the uh, multiplayer. It's labeled as a multiplayer pack, but that's one of the worst multiplayer maps you could have possibly added to Gears of War 3. Um, so, you know, again, I go on that in depth on why I dislike it. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, some people love Escalation, but in terms of fitting into these game types, uh, the speed of this game, just remembering how it played on Gears of War 1, mm, nah, uh, it's not my cup of tea. Nah, I don't like that slow, campy gameplay where people sit back on steps and with these rifles. Mm -mm, nope. Uh-uh. Sorry. Uh, then, uh, well, as far, in terms of the maps, again, I said there was five, so... Uh, you got Escalation, I believe, Anvil, Slabs, uh, I have to pull it all up again. I'll, I'll put it down in the description on what all the maps are, but uh, it seems like they're pretty interesting. I think Academy is one as well. Um, just from reading the descriptions, other than Escalation, they all seem pretty interesting. Uh, I'm most excited to see the prison map, because uh, it's supposed to be like really tight corridors, probably a lot of shotgun action. Hopefully it'll be pretty fast paced. Yeah, see, we won this first or second round going into the third round. It's tie 1-1. One, one. Um, so I'm, I'm looking kind of forward to that particular map. Uh, again, I, I don't know the maps off the top of my head, and I don't have a sheet of paper in front of me, so I can't tell you guys. Uh, but I'll put it in the description so you guys can look. But I also have it in the description on the uh, actual deal or the live stream VOD that I did. So kind of excited about that. Now... In terms of characters, uh, this probably, you know, I labeled it as a good thing uh, that they have new characters. Just the, the thought of having new characters, the concept of having new characters uh, for this. But realistically, you guys are only going to get, they label four, but there's really only two new characters. Um, and, and in all honesty, you know, uh, Ben Carmine is one of them. So it's not even like that's technically a new character. It's just a different skin of the, the same character. So... You're only getting one new character to the uh, universe is the Savage Marauder. Um, so you have a recruit Clayton uh, where he has a helmet. You have uh, the Savage Marauder, Savage Cantus, limited edition. So it's a different skin. Uh, the skin is red, I think. And then you have a different version, a limited edition version of Thrashball Cole where he has like a different outfit on or something like that. Uh, different pants, color, whatever. Uh, you know, he wears the jersey, so it's just a different version of the jersey, I guess. But, uh, you know, a lot of people that have those characters or that have the pre-order, you know, pre-ordered Savage Cantas or played the beta and earned uh, Thrashball Cole, they're upset. Um, and, it, again, I don't particularly care about the semantics of characters. It doesn't bother me. It's just, I mean, I can play with anybody. It doesn't really matter. Um you know, I do like having my swagged out Omnix guard. I might, I must say that. But <laughs> in all honesty, I don't really care about characters. <clears throat> but there are people upset because, you know, they feel like, you know, they paid for this content. Um, they feel like they, you know, they have the right to have this as their specific content. And uh, they want to be unique and different. Now, I, I mentioned my, you know, what I was a little bit upset about was Thrashball Cole. And I saw some people with some pretty legitimate responses on why they feel like they should have Thrashball Cole. Or, you know, some people lost their data with the beta. Um, you know, some people didn't didn't delete it, didn't, um, you know, mess with it in any way. But when they loaded the game, it didn't work. I remember that being an issue uh, when the game first released. Some people, I think in Germany, I saw a comment. Uh, from someone said in Germany the beta was not available to them so it's not like they could have earned anything from the beta so they were hurting but my reasoning was more along the lines of the majority of people had access to the beta um, and you know they I believe they said it was like one point whatever million people had access to the beta and if you didn't have Thrashball Cole then I considered it to be your own fault um, it's not something that they should have given away but again I with within reason it's not like i'm saying hey germany 
uh, you guys didn't have access to it, you guys shouldn't have it. I'm saying that the people that are like, yes, we get Thrash Ball Cole, but they had access to the beta in the first place, but they didn't provide feedback, they didn't help in the forums, they didn't, you know, grind out like those other guys did. I think there's a little bit of an issue there. Now, as far as the Savage Cantus thing, that was a pre-order from Amazon, so, <laughs> you know, anyone could have bought that as well, but that's more like, hey, you guys wanted Savage Cantus, um, but somebody else might have wanted Commando Dom, and they're not going to buy two games just to have two characters. So that's why I don't really care about the Savage Cantus one, but I think the Rashwa Cool, that was an end game um, thing that you earned. Again, I provided a lot of feedback on the beta in itself. So I felt like, hey, you know, you know, I got Thrash Ball Cole. I did my due diligence as a beta player and someone that's active in the community. And, you know, I want I want to keep that kind of limited. But, you know, it, it's it's not again, it's not something that's like, hey, you know, down with Epic B or down with uh, uh, well, any game that does it. But uh, I, you know, I don't know. I, that's something that just doesn't really bother me that much. But I, again, I understand why people are upset. And I understand why people have like their little counter arguments or whatever saying, hey, you know, I, I get it because I didn't have access to the beta or I, I get it because my file was corrupt. Gotcha. Now, the one thing I'm really excited about is the uh, re up system, which is basically like the Call of Duty prestige system. So you can uh, once you get to level 100, you can uh, re up and start all over from level one. Now. The one negative thing about this, and I, I saw some people asking about this in the live stream, was if the experience that they already had carried over into that first level of re-up. And the answer is no. Once you re-up, the XP that you already have as a level 100 player just resets nothing. It's nothing. It's meaningless. Uh, so that is the one thing that's like... Okay, you guys got, eh, this is nice. This is a very nice addition, but why wouldn't you let that EXP carry over? It's like, oh man, that, that kind of sucks. Uh, but the concept of re-upping is, while not original in any, <laughs> by any means, it's, it's a necessary, I think, implementation game mechanic now that they need to have in games. I mean, Call of Duty set the precedent. If you guys want to say that, fine. Uh, and, and all the Call of Duty lovers and fans of the game that say you know gears of war is just copying whatever that's fine all i care about is replay value um as someone that is uh, hardcore into multiplayer games having replay value is critical to the longevity of any game so you know something that keeps people interested and intrigued and in playing uh you know that is needed in the game and i feel like the re-up system as corny as it sounds as bad as the name is uh it's something that is needed in Gears of War 3. I don't know why it wasn't implemented in the first place. They added all these other things, but they didn't think, hey, once they get to level 100, they should be able to re-up. Or maybe they thought it was just, you know, jocking on Call of Duty a little bit too hard, but I, I personally would like to get my Onyx uh, wings. That'd be nice. I mean, it's, I don't see the, the, the issue with it. But one of the things that is also a little weird is the coloring system isn't bronze, silver, gold, Onyx. It's like, <laughs> bronze green red then onyx i don't know why why they didn't make it match all the other uh you know color systems that they've used in the game that's kind of weird but uh you know that that's the, that system in itself is something that i'm very interested in i think a lot of people will be excited about that uh ooh. but uh you know overall i think I, i'm pretty happy with with this 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 multiplayer map pack um, I'm pretty interested to see what's going to come after this. I'm ho hoping something very extensive with uh, characters and uh, uh, the locusts in particular. So, you know, we had Rom Shadow, which you can kind of say was for the locusts, but I want to see more DLC characters for the locusts. And I've said this multiple times now. I just feel like it should ba balance out with the skinnies. They gave us a different skin for Thrash Ball Cole. Why not give us three or four skins for Mira? Give us a red one. Give us a blue one. Give us a white one. I don't care. I just think that there needs to be some more, uh, you know, female character selections for Mira. And I think that doing that would, you know, add or make people at least stop whining about um, not having skinnies for the Locust. You know, Scourge is also something that a character that you could use. And I honestly, I, there's no other female characters really. You know, some people mention berserkers. You can make like a mini berserker. 
but berserkers are like blind, right? So how would they be able to fire realistically? Think about that? Yeah, yeah, see? So you guys see we ended up winning this match. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that recap. Again, I'm very sorry about the video. Hopefully on next live stream I do, it will be fixed. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Until the next time, guys, I will catch you later. You guys can check out the uh, Running Ranked episode number 37 and uh, the Alternate Control Scheme Guide. Peace.